Hello, this is Craig Brockie from CraigBrockie.com, sharing with you the secrets to being happy, healthy, and wealthy. Today we're going to talk about secrets to effective communication. The most successful people are very effective communicators. They're people that can cooperate with people, they can lead a group of people, and they can get more things done because they have people working with them and they can get the desired outcome that they want. So today we're going to talk about persuasive communications. And the best course that I've reviewed on persuasive communications is called The Psychology of Selling by Brian Tracy. And this was the number one most important course that helped me become financially successful. And why is that? Because everything to do with business and life in general is communication. You're talking to a person, you're trying to agree upon what you're going to do tonight. You're trying to agree upon whether they should buy the product or not buy the product. Whether you should buy the product or you should not buy the product. This course is not just about selling. It's about helping you get whatever desired outcome you have whenever you're communicating with people. Whether that be personal, professional, or otherwise. So I'm just going to share with you a few little secrets you can find in this course. But I really think you should check it out yourself. Today we're going to talk about the power of yes questions. It's often said that business is people, but really everything is people. We live in an interdependent world and we're communicating with people every day and having conversations. And if you can get the desired outcome that you want, you're going to be happier and in some cases wealthier. Brian Tracy has taught me and several other business successes that telling isn't selling. In fact, the person who's asking the questions is actually in control of the conversation and leading the conversation. So you have to use your questions very wisely, not only in selling, but all your day-to-day -day communications so you can get the outcome that you want. Now, in communications, questions are one of the most powerful tools you can use. There's two types of questions. There's closed-ended questions and there's open-ended questions. Today we're going to talk about closed-ended questions. A closed-ended question is a question that requires a response of either yes, no, or a one-word response that usually closes off the communication and forces you to ask another question or somehow lead the conversation elsewhere. And when you use closed-ended questions, it's always best to frame your question so rather than getting a response of no, you get a response of yes. And the simple reason for that is because when someone is saying no to you, whether it's in, in agreement with your overall argument or presentation, when they're just saying no, they're psychologically disagreeing with you. So when it comes to closed-ended questions, the first secret is always phrase your question so that you're getting a yes response and not a no response. And the reason you're doing that is because when people are saying yes, they're psychologically and subconsciously agreeing with you. And when they say no, they're disagreeing with you subconsciously. And it's more important than just a no response or a yes response. Brian Tracy refers to a person's buying temperature because he focuses on selling. But let's just talk about your persuasiveness index. Let's call it that. Brian Tracy simplifies it this way. He says, whenever you get a yes response, you're raising someone's buying temperature one degree. But whenever you get a no response, you're dropping their buying temperature nine degrees. So therefore it takes nine yeses to build back that one no response. And that's how important it is to always frame your questions so that you're getting a yes response. So my challenge to you is to go put this into action. Find yourself in a conversation and asking people questions. And if you get a no response, my challenge to you is rephrase that question a little bit differently to see if you can get a yes response and to go throughout your days to try and get as many yes responses as you can in your close-ended questions. And what I think you'll find is that people are agreeing with you more and you're getting more of what you want out of life. For more quick and easy secrets for enhancing your communication skills, visit this website.